Yeah, a lot of people felt like you, you made Bruce Lee into an asshole. Another thing in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood that, that got controversial was the Bruce Lee scenes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people felt like you, you made Bruce Lee into an asshole. Yeah, well, okay, that's, okay. I'm a little hesitant to talk about this, because I don't want, like, this to be the only thing, all right, right. that people pull from, from this show. But I figured you were going to bring it up especially, because I heard you guys go back and forth on it in a little bit. I mean, where I'm coming from is, I can understand his daughter having a problem with it. It's her fucking father, all right? right. I get that. But anybody else, go oh, suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the thing about it, though, is you know, like, you know, even if you just look at it, it's obvious Cliff tricked him. That's how he was able to do it. He tricked him. It's explained more in the book. But the thing is, like, they, they do a, they do a, a three fall, uh, a, a two falls out of three contest. Cliff loves shit like that. He has a method. And his method is to give the guy the first fall. They do the second move again. I mean, they, they do the first move again, mm -hmm. second time. Well, now Cliff knows what it is. So he prepares for it. He pivots. He catches him. He throws his ass into the car. You know, and now the third time will be the charm and he gets broken up. But he just tricked him. And Bruce realized he got tricked. If, if, if Cliff hadn't been so vicious, he could have even uh, appreciated it. Actually, somebody else who had a reputation pretty similar to Bruce Lee's in that regards was like Robert Conrad oh, yeah? during that time. Yeah. And, you know, he did a lot of his own stunts and he did some really, really gnarly shit. But if you, and I've always been a big fan of Robert Conrad. But, you know, in the stunt community, he was known as Robert never met a stuntman he couldn't blame Conrad. The stunt world is a fucking crazy world because they're the people that occasionally die making movies. Yeah, absolutely. Which is just nuts. And, and look, and the thing about it is also, Cliff is a hand-to-hand -hand combat killer. He, you know, he fought in World War II. He fought with the uh, Filipino resistant fighters, you know, uh, in the Philippines against the Japanese. If Cliff fought Bruce Lee at one of Aaron Banks's Madison Square Garden tournaments, Cliff mm -hmm. wouldn't stand a chance against Bruce Lee at a Madison Square Garden martial arts tournament. But as a killer who has killed men before, he'd kill Bruce Lee. This guy's not fighting me. He's fighting his instinct to kill me.